Home sweet home. Yeah. You didn't tell me you lived in a trailer. Um, yeah, I know it's not much, but it's kind of a lifestyle. And, uh, you know, if I want to go to Denver for the weekend, I can just uh, take everything with me. You know, don't even have to pack. Well, thanks for showing it to me. But uh, I should get going. It's getting really late. It's like three in the afternoon. Yeah. Don't take this the wrong way, John. But the way you live is just so amazing. You think? Yes. I can't believe you're so free. If you want to sail down to Belize, you can. It's in your backyard. Well, I won't be sailing down to Belize. I'll be yachting down to Belize. <laughs> it's amazing. And you're so smart. I bet you don't even have to pay rent. Nope, no rent. Just a small fee to keep the trailer on the lot, you know? Great. So you're cheap. I'm not cheap. Smart. It's got everything I need. Bedroom, bath, hot water, sandwich? No, I'm good. Don't even know why I didn't do this years ago. I can think of a couple of reasons. And with my recent poker winnings, I have been able to open a savings account finally. It's not as much luck as people think it is. John, you have a gambling problem. It's only a problem when it's down. Today it was down, but yesterday it was down too. It's actually been down for a while. Wow, you're so successful. Yeah, I find that looking at numbers on a screen is far more satisfying than material possessions. Excluding my yacht, of course. You never told me. What do you do for work? You're so mysterious. <sighs> I'm a hitman. <laughs> Stop it. But right now I'm retired. Wow, you don't work at all? <sighs> no. So you're unemployed? Technically, yeah. I mean, I don't work, at least not for money. Okay. I think you might be the perfect man. You're so romantic. No, romantic is knowing from the moment I first saw you that I'd do anything to get you alone. When we met at the cafe, I knew you'd be there. It's where you go every Sunday afternoon. I've been following you for weeks. Wow, you were on a mission. I was. That is so... Creepy! You stalked me? No, I just, I just figured out what your schedule was before I knew who you were. Wow, okay, I'm, I'm getting out of I'm here. saying that out loud, I understand how that's creepy. This. No, wait, 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 what? wait! Wait, okay, hold on. I may not seem like the wealthiest guy, and I may not be the most handsome guy in the room. Although technically right now I am, that's not the point. The point is, I like you. And I know my lifestyle can be a little scary, but isn't everyone's lifestyle a little scary when you think about it? And that shouldn't even matter, right? Which matters, we had like a good time today and, and, and I care about you. And that's not gonna change, no matter what happens to us. So maybe, just, just maybe this time, could love be enough? What do you say? What do I say? I say that I'm leaving you. I've met someone else, John, and he's not like you. He's not a loser like you. He's cool and adventurous and he's smart and he's enigmatic. He's literally the opposite of you. He's blonde and blue-eyed and tall. He's got like a 10 pack. Every woman's dream. Like I said, the opposite of you. I did tell her I was a hitman. VR is like blowing up right now, okay? So I was developing this in secret because I wanted to surprise you. Tired of your regular boring VR system? One that got away. <laughs>